Okay, so this video we are going to talk of how to differentiate a function of n variables at a particular point. Okay, then the variables I'm going to denote as x1, x2, so on till xn. And the point is going to be a1, a2, n. So let me just, just clarify a little what this notation means. So each of the inputs to f I'm denoting like x1, x2, so on the xn. So I'm, I'm, I'm make, I'm, I'm distinguishing the inputs based on the subscript. So in the earlier case when I had a function of two variables, let me write that down here, you had a function of two variables, uh, x and y, right? And I call the variables x and y. Now I'm calling them x1, x2, so xn, because I don't know how many are there. So I cannot call them x, y, z, like that. Uh, and, and now because I'm using subscripts, these 1, 2, n, to describe the coordinates of the point, I cannot use the subscripts for the actual, like to specify an actual point. So earlier I used this notation for the actual point. Now I cannot use that. So instead I'm going to use for the actual point, I'm going to use this letter a1, a2, an. What this means is that this is the point where x1 is a1, x2 is a2, so xn is an. And these are actual numbers. Okay, this is the actual number. It's an actual point. Now the partial derivative with respect to xi is just the is just defined like this, or not defined, it's de denoted this way, df dxi of x1, x2 to xn at x1 to x2 to xn is a1, a2, n. And i here could be any number between 1 and n. In fact, for each value of i between 1 and n, you get a different partial derivative. So how many different partial derivatives do you get for this function? n. n. That's the number of inputs. So for each input, you have a partial derivative with respect to that. Now, uh, this thing could also be denoted like this. It could be denoted f sub xi of a1, a2, an. Just means the partial derivative of f with respect to xi of, of a1, a2 to an. That at this point, this is an actual set of numerical values. It could also be denoted f sub i. f sub i is just short for f sub xi. It just means if you know that the inputs are in this order at this point. Uh, now, another thing I want to say which I've said in the past, but I'll, I'll say this again, is that the value of the partial derivative depends on, does it depend only on the ith coordinate? No. So the value of the partial derivative with respect to xi depends on the values of all the inputs. The value of the partial derivative with respect to x2 will depend not just on the value a2, but will also depend on a1 and a3 and everything else. Okay. So, so now how do I actually define the this partial derivative in terms of an ordinary derivative or in terms of limits. Let me try doing that. It's a little little tricky. So 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 what I want to do is I want to take so I want to do d I want to differentiate with respect to xi now the, the this function the xi coordinate, this will still remain xi. Okay, because this is still a, a coordinate that I'm trying to vary. What happens to all the other coordinates? What do they become? Uh, fixed. Fixed at what value? Uh, a1, a2. Yeah, so all the other coordinates will just become the corresponding ai value. So I'm, I'm assuming this i is somewhere in the middle, but if it were at the end, uh, it would just be somewhat similar. But you have a1, a2, till a i minus 1. I mean, it would, the notation would be a little different if i were 1, but the idea would be the same. Uh, and on the right, so now this is a function, this thing is a function of how many variables? 1. 1. Just this one, because all the others are now fixed. And so since it's a function of one variable, I can just use the ordinary derivative. By ordinary derivative, I just mean the derivative as you used to think of it as the derivative. And now I need to specify at what point I'm evaluating. I just need to specify the xi value. At what point do I evaluate? A i. A sub i. Okay. So this is the note. So, so this basically, I'm just thinking of a function which all the other coordinates are fixed and I'm just sending, I'm just keeping this particular coordinate variable. Okay. And I want to write this as a limit. So, uh, the derivative is a limit of a difference quotient. So it's limit xi approaches ai of of 
of where ev all the coordinates except that one are are a i and that coordinate is just x i minus f of catch and the derivative the, the denominator is x i minus i but i need to figure out what this is this is just f at the actual point so here you will put here you basically just use ai so you don't actually put xi you put ai because this is the so this is just a, this f at a point which is close to the point minus f at the actual point and the only coordinate i change here is the x coordinate just make it xi so that's what that looks now you could, if you want you could also write this and in the limit h approaches 0 in that case xi would become ai plus h and the denominator would just become h okay so this this is the n variable notation it's a little confusing i mean if i wanted i could use a sub zero notation but then i would have two subscripts and it would get confused that's why i use this ai notation that's why it doesn't quite exactly map to the two variable case